Finally, our main event of the evening, Roman Reigns goes one-on-one -on -one with the man that made a big impact in our first match on Raw, episode 30. I'll link that down in the description if I get the chance, or I'll put it in the annotation. Drew McIntyre. He helped Dolph Ziggler win his match against the Big Show, and now he must go one-on-one -on -one with the leader of the quote-unquote Roman Empire. Oh God! Here they here they go again. Here's the big dog. God, it makes me sick every time I hear that. And that's not a knock on um. And that's not a knock on Roman. I just hate how they fucking the commentary. And I don't even know if it's Michael Cole's fault either. They just keep fucking keep saying this bullshit like, "Oh, Little Miss Bliss, the big dog." You know, like fuck. Enough, please. I'm gonna die. Well, I'm not gonna die, but it's just killing me on the inside, so I might die. Although, I, uh, shout out to Roman Reigns, though. I heard, uh, I hope he's doing good with his leukemia. Uh, I still, I'm still quite frankly in shock about it. And I haven't watched WWE television in well over, in about two years. About, or somewhere about that. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I'd say it's at least been two years. At least, I don't even remember the last time I saw any sort of Royal Rumble stuff. But, um, or I don't know what the last time I saw any type of... WB television, but I'll uh, have to keep an eye on that. The point I'm trying to make is I think from what I've been hearing is that WB television has very much suffered with uh, Roman not being there, but I have heard so I have read some reports and seen some photos of Roman Reigns looking to be like he's in good spirits. So that's uh, that's something that makes me happy. I hope he comes back good. And uh yeah, that's all I can hope for, right? I mean, the guy's got a family, he's got a wife, he's got a daughter. I don't want to have anything happen to him, you know? Just a very unfortunate situation. So shout out to Roman Reigns once again. And here is the Scottish... Just the Scottish beast, Drew McIntyre. Let me tell you something about Drew McIntyre, man. This is the first time I think I'm displaying him in the history of EBCW. But to be honest with you, Drew McIntyre or Drew Galloway, whatever you want to call him, this man has always been low-key one of my favorite wrestlers to watch in WWE and, and any in wrestling in general. I'll tell you why. Because when he was doing that whole Chosen One gimmick in 2010 when I started watching, I hated his guts. Like, I, I literally wanted to see his get him get his ass kicked, which, you know, being a new wrestling fan, that's kind of what the company wants, right? So, I remember one day, I think it was like, it was like 12, 1230 or something that night. It was when SmackDown was on the CW, and I think the, the actual show got pushed back. The actual show got pushed back because of the Yankee game. And I remember correctly... Drew McIntyre was doing this thing where he was going to fight Teddy Long in a match. And Teddy Long, like, he almost, you know, DDT'd Teddy Long. And then I think Matt Hardy and then R-Truth came to save him. And they both got absolutely wrecked. So that was like the one time I, that was like when I hated Drew. But like when he got released, I kind of appreciated the stuff he'd done. And now... He went, and then he went to TNA. He did stuff in Europe, and the Indies, and all that. And it's just the dude's just insane. The guy is just an absolute beast. I guarantee you, whether it's this year or the next year, um, I'd say, I'd say SummerSlam the latest. Drew McIntyre is going to be Universal Champion on Monday Night Raw, or if anything, the. N the uh, what's this, the other champion? The world heavyweight champion, the W, the WWE champion. Before uh, this year is over, I'd say I'd say I give SummerSlam the latest. Oh boy, a submission hold, perfect. Let me just get quickly get out of there. Yeah, because that's how much I believe in Drew McIntyre. Believe me. And from what I understand, the man's been nothing short of impressive 
since um, since uh, coming back to w to the main roster. Oh crap! I'm just getting the at my ass kicked now, though. I kind of chose a bad opponent for Drew. I mean, I'm facing Roman Reigns, who is arguably the most OP guy in the entire game. I gotta find a way out of this. Oh, for God's sake! Come on, let me get a get, let me get a move in. Holy shit! There we go. Holy fuck! 2K, like, god damn! Like, I hate this game is just fucking broken sometimes. I have no stamina left. Like, why am I? Why am I not surprised? I got no stamina because I'm trying to fight him and he's dodging two of my goddamn moves on the outside. What is this? Big move there. Big kick to the gut. McIntyre all the way back out. I gotta say though, when McIntyre came to NXT, I don't know if he got the run that he could have gotten. Oh my god, what a throw. Holy shit. Like, I was shocked that that happened as I was saying like I don't think I think Drew McIntyre had a good run as like champion and you know in NXT but I don't think it was I don't think it was what everyone expected it to be if that makes sense like I expected him to like kill everybody you know and I got Superman punched oh my god I'm getting destroyed lord help me um but yeah like when he lost to Cien Almas I was in shock I was like oh wow and then I think he was injured, so he, that's why he was, wasn't was there for a while. Oh, thank God. I cannot lose this match. I'm going to have to fucking focus a little bit, but I'll do my best to uh, do some commentary over it. Wow. How in the fuck did I survive that? Got to get back. I got to get him back in the ring. Suplex. Big move. Big stomp to the face there by McIntyre. I could do the Claymore, but I don't want to have to risk doing like a corner move or whatever. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing the Claymore. I think I might just stick with the Future Shock, which is still one of my favorite DDT iterations. And I know I'm doing the same move over and over again, but what else am I supposed to do against Roman Reigns? Ooh, submission hold. I can do that. Oh, I could have reversed that easy, though. Oh, boy. All right. I think maybe I can do a fin I can do the finisher on the floor. Fuck it, why not? Future shock on the floor because I can. I can't win the match from the outside, but you think I give a shit? <laughs> I got I had to hurt him. That's what I had to do is I had to hurt him. That was my goal in that move. McIntyre's putting up a fight. Gotta give him that much. A little while ago, it looked like he was down and out. But now, not so much. Another big boot to the face. McIntyre uses those boots very well. See, he's got, a sing the, he's got a little suplex move. Oh my god. The raw power of the Scott. The Scottish beast that's what he is I think he might I think he might have another nickname but I don't know but I'll tell you right now if he beats if he beats uh, Roman Reigns he just might be the chosen one after all bang big move there big fucking move oh what a brutal headbutt to Another big boot to the face. 
Thought Roman was bleeding there for a second, but uh, I guess not. Although we might have to change that. Future shock. Oh my god, he reversed it. Oh crap, no. This, oh god, it's over. Oh no. This is not good. This is not good. Crap. Can I, like, get out of here somehow? That'd be nice. Nah, uh, that... Fuck. Hold on. Ah, shit. Okay. Ah, <sighs> man. It's it is what it is. Drew McIntyre didn't get the win like I was trying to, all because of a stupid reverse finisher. Ugh, I thought I had him too. I had him like I had him where I wanted him, and I'm so mad right now. Oh, I sh that should have changed. That just should have changed. I'm sorry. That's just a load of shit. Hell of a match, though. I mean, like I said, I, I gave Roman a run for his money. Oh, man. And that's where it ended. I think my first mistake was when I made this I made this match. This the game didn't give me this match, but I made this match. And I, my first mistake was choosing Roman Reigns as my opponent, but it is what it is. Roman stands tall. And there's a I have a feeling we'll see these two face off again though. I'm not too upset about this loss like I usually would be. Usually I would be, "Oh, this game is bullshit, blah blah blah." But that's different. Today it's different. I deserve to lose that match because I chose an, a very OP opponent with a very overall uh, with a with a with a uh, superstar with a very weak overall. Anyway, not the way I wanted to end Raw, but coming up on Velocity, I have a very uh, important or special I'd say important and special commentary to do. So I'll see you guys on Velocity when I make it. I hope you guys enjoyed the last couple episodes of Raw. I'll see you guys soon.